<laughs> You're all gonna die now. <laughs> What's up, Street Thugs? Brig here, and we are back with another City of Heroes build, but this time I decided to do a Fire Blaster Fire Farmer. That's right, all fire all the time. Always wanted to do this and never got around to it. The closest I ever got to it was making a Corruptor, which was pretty cool. I think it was more of a, it was an ice fire maybe. It was a lot of targeted AOEs. Very enjoyable, but this time I decided to go all fire blasting. So let's go ahead and look at the stats real fast. Obviously the key one we want here is 45% fire defense. And then of course down here to fire resistance, we have 75% fire resistance. So we'll go ahead and jump over to the powers you can see we got here. First one, we got fire blasts, of course. So we got fire blast, fireball, rain of fire, aim, blaze, and inferno. Come over here to fire manipulation. I have ring of fire, combustion, fire sword circle, build up, cauterizing aura, consume, burn, and hot feet. Uh, so we'll come over here to pulls. What I took for the power pull sets is I got leaping for combat jumping. I have speed for hasten and super speed. Concealment for stealth, grant invisibility, and invisibility. And then leadership, I have maneuvers. And then for my epic mastery, I took flame mastery, uh, and I got uh, bonfire, char, and fire shield. All three of those are huge assets to the build. Obviously fire shield, because you're gonna get a big chunk of your fire resistance from that. Bonfire obviously is gonna be a huge AOE that you're just gonna keep on cooldown at all times. And char is actually one of the sets you need to get that fifth winter's lord set so you can max out your fire defense. So now for our incarnates, for Alpha, I have the Musculature Core Paragon. For Destiny, I have Aegis Core Epiphany. For Interface, I have Reactive Core Flawless Interface. And then finally for Hybrid, I have the Assault Core Embodiment. So those are the incarnates. So let's go ahead and jump into our enhancements now. So for Fire Blast, I have Maelstrom's Fury, and I have all but the Damage Endurance Recharge, and that primarily is for that 1.88% Fire Defense. Uh, Ring of Fire, I didn't do anything. If you want to use it for a debuff or maybe single targets, you're trying to just clean up, it's up to you. I wouldn't even bother. Fireball, I have uh, Ragnaroks, everything but the chance for a knockdown. This gives you your 6% fire cold resistance and your 10% recharge. Now, that you are going to be well over capped on these fire resistance as well as 4% recovery. Come down here to Combustion. I have four of the Fury of the Gladiators. Everything uh, on this one is everything but chance for resist debuff and the accuracy endurance recharge. This one, again, I got 3.75% resistance for fire and cold and a 2.5% for damage buff. That's why I took those. Come down here to Combat Jumping. I didn't really go for defense on this ability. This was mainly for your, your quick little proc sets. Uh, I got the Luck of the Gambler, Global Recharge. I have the Shield Wall for the 5% resistance. And I have the Reactive Defenses for the Scaling Resist. Come down here to uh, Super Speed. You can do whatever you want to. Fire Sword Circle. Uh, again, same thing I have in Combustion. It's the everything but the Chance for Resist Debuff, as well as the Accuracy Endurance Recharge. And again, 3.75% for Fire and Cold, as well as 2.5% for Damage. Uh, uh, stealth, Mule Power, Luck of the Gambler. And of course, that's the same with Grant Invisibility as well as Invisibility. Just a Mule Power for my Stealth, just for that extra recharge so I can just keep bashing away. Come down here to Blaze. I took all of the Superior Winter's Bite, primarily for that 5% Fire and Cold. And of course, you do get 6% for Fire and Cold Resistance, but that's going to be capped out, like I said earlier. Uh, Cauterizing Aura. I took Numilus Convalescence for the Regeneration Recovery, as well as two Fur Fury of the Gladiators. I This one, I did take the Chance for Resist debuff, as well as... Uh, an accuracy damage and that again 3.75 percent for the resistance fire cold this one is a toggle so this is why i have the numina in there as well as the the fury the gladiator proc so they're always having a chance to to proc and hit rain of fire i have superior frozen blast all six of them again for the five percent for fire cold defense ace and i have two recharges aim i just have one recharge come down here to consume i have all six of the superior avalanches again five percent defense for fire and cold which is why i took it uh come up here to maneuvers uh, again that first one is the luck of the gambler global recharge like usual and then i have four of the red fortunes uh mainly i took that for that 1.5 percent resistance fire cold and the two percent damage all Come down here to Inferno. I took five of the Armageddons. Everything but the damage endurance. I did take the extra chance for fire damage, that bonus damage. 
Uh, burn, I took uh, five of the superior Defiant Barrages. Come down here to Hot Feet. This one I took five of the Superior Blasters Wrath. Again, another ATO. Come down here, Bonfire. Now this one I took Positron's Blast. I took five, took everything but the Accuracy Damage Endurance. I did take the Chance for Damage Energy. And then I took the Overwhelming Force for the Chance for Knockdown, knock back to knock down. That way they're not flying all over the place. And then over here to Fire Shield, I took three Aegis, uh, mainly all the ones with resistance, so I can get as much resistance as possible. And of course, that one gives me 3.13 fire defense. And then I took the Gladiator's Armor for the 3% defense, as well as Steadfast Protection for the extra 3% defense. And then Char, like I said, this is one, this is a pretty much a mule power as well, just so I can have something to stick that last winter set for the extra 5% fire defense. And this one, I have the Superior in Tombs. And then for buildup, I have Gaussian Synchronized Fire Control Chance for buildup. For Brawl, because like I said, I was running out of powers to stick these winter sets in, but I took uh, Superior Blistering Colds all in Brawl, so that way you have that extra 5% 5 5 for Fire and Cold again. And then Health, I just have the Recovery, and Stamina, I have the Endurance Modification. So that's my Fire Blaster Fire Farmer. I had so much fun with it, testing it out in my farm. It was just wreaking havoc i mean that thing just melted everything it was so much fun so if you decide to run with the fire blaster for fire farming you're gonna have a blast i hope you enjoy it if you have suggestions or tweaks you might suggest please let me know i'd love to hear it like i've always said these are only guides for you guys to get started if you find a way to make them better i would like to know um, or you can keep it to yourself. It's up to you. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you have a suggestion for a build, please let me know. I've got a couple I am working on right now. I have a couple tweaks I want to make to them. But thank you guys. Please remember to subscribe, like, ring the bell for notifications. Thank you guys so much for helping me get to my goal of a thousand subscribers. That is so awesome. It means a lot to me. I am trying to get a giveaway put together in celebration of hitting a thousand subscribers. Uh, I would like to give away my board game, One Way Out. I am putting together a script to make some sort of a video or maybe even like a commercial video for it so we'll see how that goes i'd like to get that out i gotta figure out this giveaway but thank you guys so much i will see you again soon stay golden and take care bye bye